Hey there, Storytime Vesper here. How are you all doing today? We're continuing once again with Story Night. Story Night. <laughs> Hollow Night. And we are beginning our quest for the double jump. The ever elusive double jump. I need it so bad. So bad. Alright, however, we were going to go down to this bottom left area here because we've got this wave dash thing and I'm trying to find where this double jump is. Because once I get it, once I get it, I'm pretty sure that's like the entire game opened up for me. Okay, I still do have the books that bring me money. Good, good. Oh, I'm coming across so many areas. So many areas that are just so close. I can, I can almost get through them. No! No! Damn, I'm all plants. It's sitting here where I'm going. Alright. We can do this. Oh, there's a plant here. Come on, plant. Yeah, that's what I thought. You got nothing. Too quick for your steely jaws. Alright. Now I have to remember how to do that dash thing. I think it was just hold. Ah, yes. We need to go over here first. It's okay, it's okay. Still warming up. Still warming up. Get used to the game. Oh, this is... Oh, right, it's brambles. I can't, I can't jump off of them. Oh, I'm doing this without a full soul jar. Risky. Super risky because if I mess up, no, I can't do this area. I have to have a double jump. That double jump right over there. Because even at the top of the dash, or I wouldn't be able to make it. So what we're going to do is we're going to, wait, what? Oh, let's inspect that. Oh, for a moment, there was, a, there was an interaction option with the vines. And that would have been interesting. <laughs> what do you want to do with the vines? Why? <laughs> make a thorny whip, of course. Oh, speaking of Thorny Whip, finally the release date of the Bloodstains. Getting close. Oh, gosh! So I'm getting really excited for that. I've been a backer for that for a long time. And to be honest, I haven't even been paying attention. <laughs> it's just been, I've been patiently waiting, and by not paying attention as to the release date, uh, it's, whoop, oh my goodness, that's what I get for just not paying attention. <laughs> uh, I've been able to just patiently wait for it and not really notice. Hey, Anna, how's it going tonight? Hopefully your weekend is going all right. I'm a little disappointed. We've got that daylight savings time coming up, so that means I'm losing that hour of sleep. But there's a silver lining. A very big silver lining. My youngest kid right now has been waking up anywhere between 6.30 and 7.30. Now, on work days, we wake up at 7. So it really sucks when he wakes up at 6.30, that half hour beforehand. Because I get up at 7. <sighs> so I lose out on half hour sleep. Which I really want. Which means, with this hour forward... That's now going to make it to 7.30 wake-up time. Yes! And then on the weekends. His earliest wake-up of the 6.30, once again, 7.30. Yes! Do you really want to know? Of course I want to know. You're an amazing person. I want to hear how your day is. Even if it's terrible, maybe, maybe we'll be able to turn that around. Because you're here now. A place of wonderment and joy. Or something like that. Ah, there we go. Losing sleep is no bueno, but you sound like you like the silver lining. <laughs> yeah, I mean, short term, it does suck because of the lack of sleep. What? Oh! I'm ready. Oh, 
Whoa! <laughs> this one jumps! <gasps> and your mic died. Oh, man. That's no good. That is like the worst timing too, especially when you're getting really into the singing. You're starting to get, get that good pace going. Got the tempo down and then all of a sudden, boom, done. And then of course, you, you can't just go get a new new battery. Now, are we talking just batteries dead? Or are we talking like if it's just dead, dead? Gotcha. Oh, hello. <laughs> Why? Oh, I guess this is if you don't want to fight the big thing down there. Okay. Dad's recharging, so now you're waiting. Ah. So I've got that, that cusp. That's the worst part, where you're like... Oof. Just oof. Now I'm waiting, hopefully I have time to get back to camp. <laughs> Holla holla, let me holla at your night. Woo, woo, woo. What happened to RE2? Um, well, nothing's happened yet. Um, I'm still aiming to finish Hollow Knight. That, that's my main goal right now. Finish Hollow Knight. Once that's done, then I'm moving on to the next game. Which is why I then, uh... Made the plan put up that pole. So this way, we can figure out, okay, am I doing Hollow Knight? However, it's, uh, last I checked, it was a tie between people not wanting to do it and people wanting to do it. Which I, I knew was going to happen, that's why I asked. Because... A lot of people are sick of it. And understandably so, because a lot of people, a lot of the community here are all following each other. And a lot of us, I, I'm late to the RE party because I've got, I've been playing other games first. Because I was in the middle of doing Horizon Zero Dawn before as well. I go. Mustache hair tickling my nose. <laughs> so I, I'm pretty late to the party, and that makes it where everybody else has done it a bunch, and everybody's tired of seeing it. I sick of it. Enjoy playing it like watching it play. It's bad, don't feel bad. Well, I'm out of cusp as well because I feel like that's a game that I could really get into at times because I'm sure the atmosphere is still quite nice. And I could probably get into it a lot. Whereas when you're streaming it, I find you can't necessarily get like really into a game like that because you're continually stopping to look at chat, read chat, interact with chat and so on. And if you're busy doing that, you're constantly taking your attention away from the atmosphere and the game, so you're not able to let the game do its job, as it were, and, and let you get fully into it. It's not that I don't think Resident Evil will have a bad atmosphere. So you can just not first play through. Flip side is I know I'm probably going to get stuck on some puzzles. <laughs> So, having a group of people around to help me out with that would still be pretty good. There we go. You 
Ah, smart old oh, man. Anna, Anna. Puzzles are the bane of my existence. <laughs> I don't trust this grub. Oh, it was a legit grub. But yeah, no, I, I do eventually figure out they aren't like stupid hard puzzles like the council. Jeez, you remember that, Zaytran? My god. Council with its Bible puzzles and stuff? Holy balls. Alright, figure out what passage we're talking about. Now, go ahead and figure out which... Sorry, it was... Which chapter, from which book, from which... <laughs> it's just ridiculous. But from what I remember of Resident Evil 2, it was never... <gasps> Is this double jump? Is this... Oh. Uh, okay, I I'm still happy. Don't get me wrong. I'm still happy. I like being able to hold more soul. But I, 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 I would, I'd be wrong if I didn't say I was hoping that that was the double jump. <laughs> this instant clues without cheating, backtracking, good is excessive, that's probably... Yeah, that was the one thing that uh, irks me about games, is the amount of back travel. But, it is what it is. The once our lands, a pale being lays claim to the caverns ahead. May appear benevolent, but does not share our dream. Be wary to wander that place. But I get through there, though. I don't see any other ways. That's interesting. Huh. Oh, I go from the top, I probably loop around, but I can't do that yet because I need the double jump. They do bleed, do bleed, do bleed, do bleed, do bleed. That's where I'm going to go like this. to store. All right, see you when you get back, Zetran. Now the real question is, can I boost myself? No. Ooh, how about this way? Oh, thank goodness. I was worried. Well, actually... <gasps> no! Do I drop down? And I am definitely still... I... I... Like, I'll definitely be playing Resident Evil no matter what, just whether it's on stream or not. Whee, down we go. That sounded like a grub. No. Oh, it's just these things, never mind. does that hold? Oh, it holds a decent amount, actually. It's not too shabby. But on the flip side as well, is I do have a lot of small games that I still want to be doing. Have, have I not gone down? Ah! <laughs> How much gaming time do you have on average per week? I'm on at least 8 to 11 every single day. Not necessarily streaming all the time. Oh, see, I have been in this area. Oh, right. I had kind of gone through this area, but not much. I forgot about this area. And these homing missiles of those bloody things. So jelly. <laughs> oh, no! I'm just not timing this correct. So normally that would... Nah, I would have liked more, but oh well. How much time do you usually get, Anna? Oh, I 
thought there was a ledge there. Okay. That time is a weekly total. Mm. Sounds like you lead a busy life. Yeah, pretty much. I start work really early in the day. Like I start at seven, so I'm off by three seven. I'm oh, sorry, by three thirty. Because I get off that early, I'm able to get my stuff done during the day, and then for my son old day. <laughs> so pretty much my schedule goes: wake up, go to work, come home. Well, not really come home. I, mean, I work from home, so. Is that, is that all this here? Oh, it is. Oh, right then. then, wife goes to work. I make supper, get everybody fed, do the whole schoolwork, get the kids off to their bedtimes around 6.30ish. Maybe 7, depending on how things go. Yeah, work from home. So I actually cut out a lot of commute time that way. Which makes a big difference. Because I used to have to take like that 40 minute commute time there and back from home, and it was just. Eh. It's that he doesn't really work. It's it's tough at times, I'll, I'll admit. Sometimes when you're just feeling so damn tired, you don't feel like working. Oh, Shadow Barrier. Ah, uh, I can't go this way, apparently. It, it takes a certain type to be able to do it. Why would you even have that if you have a direct thing? Ooh, hello. What are you? The overgrown mound. My, my. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, I saw I saw you. I saw you. Hitting that wall knocked me back into the spikes. <laughs> oh fine. I mean this is gonna be really easy, so whatever. Do I have to go hunting for these darn things? Alex. Oh my gosh. Those things didn't hurt me once. It was just diving into the darn spikes. <laughs> the way the game is designed, it looks like it's super easy to miss hidden places. A little labyrinth. Exactly. And there's breakable walls and all that. And it's like, ugh. Hello? Did I ever play God of War? I played a... Oh, hello. What's this? Consume the Howling Wraiths. Tap B while holding up to unleash the Wraiths. Spells will display soul. Interesting. I'm not sure when I'll ever use that. Eh, whatever. Alright, <clears throat> as I was saying, I bought the God of War remaster set for... Was it PlayStation 4? Maybe. It comes with Gods of War 1, 2... I don't remember. I played some of the first one. It was okay. Didn't mind it. But it didn't really hook me to keep me playing, was the problem. Okay, right, and then that was the shadow gate down there. That was how I got over to that side. Back over this way. To play that, the story is great. Now, I've heard the God of War 3 story is great, yes. I haven't heard anybody really talking about the original God of Wars. And I admit, what? He just didn't hook you, why? I don't know what it was, uh... I didn't hear him! I did not hear him, I did not! Ooh, 
That was a good home. Curse these guys. Curse the jellyfish. <gasps> oh, the little thing is supposed to be down here. Oh no! Oh no! What's this? Okay. Well, this is the stag beetle station, I think. Queen station. Wait, what? Oh. Alright, yeah, I've been in the queen station. Okay. Have this area mapped? Oh, ooh, that's that's tricky. Story progression, I appreciate, but because of the this is what you missed from the previous game's beginning intro, you don't need to play. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, it starts to be over. Oh, that's dirty. Success is mine. Take that, game. You thought you could stop me with brambles and thorns. You cannot. For I am the amazing visitor. <laughs> or something like that. Oh, nope. Don't say use the soul. Don't use the soul. Do I sound the experience of being a god? See, uh, it's like Kingdom Hearts 3. Apparently that has, like, the whole stories of the first games and codexes and so on. So this way you you can get the whole story of if you didn't play the games. Oh yeah, this eating bug thing. What is the mask for? That power-up that I just got? If I get enough of them, four of them to be exact, mash shards, I get an extra life mask up at the top of my screen there. So I got one full thing already. So that was nice. All right, I've gone ahead and saved. Now I can go back this way. Oh yeah, this is the bank. Right. Ask if I want to put anything in the bank. I said no. With heart of high, exactly. <laughs> Pretty much. You want to be wrong, and you'll be happy to know, Anna. I've been looking into that new Zelda for the Switch. <laughs> now that you guys are bugging me about it all the time. <laughs> and it does look interesting, and I'm thinking of kind of getting it. Because <laughs> it would be nice to have an actual game to play on the Switch. For myself. Because Mario Kart and the other ones are, I mean, they're not really full games for me to play. How do you mean is I'm not playing? Hey, hey, I said I played, I think the first one, a little bit of the second one, Link to the Past, the Link to the Past remake, but I didn't play any of the 64 ones because I didn't have a 64, nor a GameCube, didn't ever have a GameCube, or the Wii U. Uh, so pretty much at that point, that's why. Did I beat what? What? Which one? Which one? Link to the past? Ah! Where's Mr. Map Guy? I can't see a single way place he would be. And he's all the game. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I, I beat them. And they're good games. They are. Just, uh, I haven't had the system to play the other ones until recently. Although that's not true, there was, there was the Wii. I did have that one. I never did finish that one. I forget why I stopped. I don't really remember. I did like the dark. I think it was the controls. I didn't like the controller for the for the Wii. 
for games like that. And this was before they came out with... Was it the Classic Controller, or did they have that right at launch? I don't remember. If they did, I didn't have it. Yes! That is Mr. Mapman! Ooh, this is dangerous. Oh, that flew right by me! Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. The Wii Sticks or the controller? That, that was with the Wii Sticks. But I don't know when they came out with the controller portion that you could plug in. I don't remember. I th if it was at the same time or not. It might have been. I just don't remember. <gasps> oh, maybe I'm not supposed to be in this area yet. To get the map. Wait, did that just? Oh, that's that's disappointing. The map man. Yeah, in this game, like this, it says you do not have a map for the area. You actually have to get to the map guy first before you can actually. Oof. Get a map. And then you buy the map from him, and then you can update the map of the areas that you've explored. It's a very interesting system, because it does make it where you have to explore a little bit yourself, without knowing where you're going. Before you can actually know, have a map say, okay, yeah, no. Now that you've explored, here's... Welcome back, Zedran. Here's where you can actually go. Or... Here's the rest of the level, in case you've missed it. So Anna, I'm going to take it that you were one of the people that voted for, the, for the playing the RVE2. Oh, that's some good water. Alright. Okay, ancient basin. There's that area to the left over there that I haven't gone to. So what's the quickest way that I can get there? Through the stag way. Oh my gosh, the stag way doesn't go like anywhere near here. Oh, King Station, that's close. Didn't vote. I have a vow. Have a vow. This, this person. This person right here. It's just like, I don't care. You like my stream? Oh, thank you. I opened up today. I opened the stream with the Hey Storytime Vesper here. You'll be, you'd be proud. You'd be proud. I don't know if you're in right at the very beginning there or not. Oh, man, that one. I haven't drank. It's really funny with water. Just regular water. No flavor. Nothing. If I'm not drinking it all day, I, I get dehydrated, obviously, because you're not drinking water. But then suddenly it tastes really good. <laughs> I don't know why it's weird. on me. Okay, so those two extra globs almost equal a full soldier. You, you were you were predisposed at that point. <laughs> oh, oh. Trying to go down to the ancient base, I believe is where I was going. Because when I have projectiles, is it sword only? So if by projectiles you are referring to, I just want to make sure I'm going the right way on my map here first. 
Yes. A bow and arrow and so on? No. I do have... Oh, wait. Oh! Oh! I think I saw something. Yeah, there's a cracked wall here. Oh. Never mind. Oh, no, it's just the aesthetic. I got all excited. I thought I found a cool thing. Go. Oh. Cuz there's something about these darn pipes. bothering me. I did something in the royal waterway. I flipped some kind of switch. And I feel like I should have done something. And there's... But I do have spells that can be shot out. But it costs soul, and I'd rather save the soul for healing. That's how I view it. Uh, it's, it's really interesting. Oh no! Oh no! No! It's interesting being down here because it's like one of the few places in the game where there's no music. So it makes it an interesting experience. So Zaytran, if you're still listening here, uh, Dawn of Man, have you been playing it much more? And how is it holding up now that you've had more game time with it? Would you say it is a good day one purchase or wait a bit see what they do with it oh no i am sad i thought it was only a close contact game playing it all week and playing it right now nice oh, i thought i was going to fall to my doom What's the furthest age you've got, or what is the thing that makes you lose the most so far? Alright, so here we are. It's supposed to be a way down through here. Let's speed up the game. Lots of progress has been very gradual. Yeah. They like to, to micromanage, basically. True servant gives all for the kingdom. Let hollowness pale king relieve you of your burden. Drop Ojio into the fountain. This monarch, we need you now. Turn to us. Let's do it. Let's. Three thousand, okay. Oh! Hey, totally worth it! Nice! Oh, okay. Why is he still here? Hmm. You may be fed during winter is the biggest challenge. Just unlock the stable and can start raising animals. Nice! Yeah, I remember in Banished, winter was always a pain in the butt. So this is the map, Guyana. You find them in each new area, and this, that's where you buy your maps from. You usually can find them by these little maps, uh, these pages that are sitting down on the ground here. You have to hunt them down. I usually listen for the humming, that's the first bit I'll hear. That makes me go, oh, oh, oh. Okay, yeah. Let's see, we need double jump to go up there. Is that a doorway down there? Oh, it is. 
else? What is this? Our beams is rich rare, per vessel sanded. Beyond lies only refuse, refuse and regret of its creation. We shall enter that place no longer. So this is a sealed doorway. Oh yeah, then do you still have to worry about things like heating up your homes? I remember that was another thing. You need to make sure all the homes are well heated. There's something about this that I had done this. I remember doing this part. Well, I can't cross like this and then realizing, oh yeah, I should have done this. Oh, and then there was something about, right, and then I got over here last time and I realized I could not jump high enough because I thought I'd need a double jump for that. But now I was high enough to do the d crystal dash. So that's why I didn't go this way before. Although it looks like needing a double jump anyways. Okay, before... Oh. When we go down, we'll go straight across. Unless there's absolutely no reason. Yes, Anna, as you can see, there are lots of little dead ends and stuff too. <laughs> Neolithic era. Ooh. Oh my gosh, this is a big, big rock of geos. Which is good because I need to make my 3000 back. I think it was just spitting it out. Oh, I was so happy Green Man Gaming now has it in Canadian dollars there, as I'm sure I mentioned last stream. I think, maybe, I don't remember. I was looking around and there was a bunch of games for a, a dollar. I was really excited. Oh, hey, this is what... Ow, ow, I'm sorry, nope. Ah! One of those was Evil Genius, so I picked that up when I was playing a bit today. Because I remember playing that all the time back in the day. Oh, that was a lot. It's good fun. It still holds up pretty well. Despite the... Oh my. Jeez, that's like a freaking machine gun. <laughs> Oh, hello. <gasps> A simple key! Oh! Oh! I needed that for something! Mine. <laughs> Shoot. Games for a dollar? What does the fine print say? Make sure it's not that, like that South Park episode? No, no, it's all good. It's really, really, really old games. <laughs> like... Normally you get them for free at some point or another. Ah, uh, Green Man Gaming is a good place. They're, they're legit. They're... Green Man Gaming. Pretty sure that's correct. Yeah. That is actually where I buy most of my games. Just because I find they have sales and they're actual registered key reseller as well. So they're actually legit game keys, unlike some other places. Because yeah, there are a lot of other places that sell... Uh, sell stolen game keys, or game keys bought with stolen credit cards and stuff. But they actually get their game keys from devs and so on. I find they always have some good sales for me and- Oh! Whoa! Little Greek goblin ghosts. Yeah, 
In fact, I find I buy through there a lot more often than Steam. I just find Steam sales aren't really that high anymore, especially for new games. Whereas Green Man, I can get, like, brand new just releasing games, usually 10 plus percent off. Oh, this is that way from before? No. Yes, it is. And I was wondering why they had a dead end over here. Okay. You X4 Foundations of Railway Empire. Ah, X4. All oh, right. I remember reading something. Oh, this is like an old Hollow Knight. Oh. Oh. No, 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 don't, don't take over the Hollow Knight. Don't leave him alone. Broken vessel. Vessel? Killed him already. Release. Oh, sweet release. I'm sorry, Broken Vessel. You look like you were once one of my. someone like me. Pay our respects. Alright. He's taken over by those weird orange glubbies. As I say, yeah, I for. X4 Foundations, I had heard, well, had a rocky start, but I think they're working on it. Because I haven't heard anything since then. So I'm guessing it's fixed. Because I bought the X4 Complete Pack, or sorry, the X Foundation Complete Pack. I have to check out my laptop. Billion. Finally, my burrito blanket! Nice. Oh, I need to do my taxes still at some point. I think I have everything I need finally. Oh, this feels so good being able to. Hello. What's this? <gasps> that looked like wings. Monarch wings? Press A? Flap wings? <gasps> we got it! Oh, we got it! We got the bloody freaking double jump. Now we can go anywhere where so put our soul's desi oh, desires. Oh. I feel complete now. That's what we're saying at the moment. It makes me think of an actual eight. Oh, ATM. ATM. <laughs> Look how high I can go. Oh, that I, th I think that is all the traversals in the game now. Oh, nope. There's one more. Nope. Wait, that's a blade art. Howling rats. Sunny dark bench of spirit. Oh, there's actually two empty spots. So there's still two more things to get. Hmm. Now whether they're powers or not, I don't know. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, that is sexy. A little odd that there's no shortcut over here, though. Maybe 
magic tricks. Well, could be. Um, actually, the magic tricks are on this dial over here. So I've got the vengeful spirit where I spit a spirit out. I can do a quick dash down and now the thing up. So this will probably move over to the left. And I'll get at least one more power. Although I'm thinking I might have multiple versions of spells because the down B one. Oh, like he is much. I I got you. I got you. Actually, the night sex is ambiguous. It, I believe it is considered completely genderless. From uh, the lore. Oh! <gasps> I'm in the dreamer's world again. Gosh darn it. Oh, hello. Good thing I didn't just jump straight down then. There's buildings with spikes. Never that what I read when I was looking for the nice bug type. Yeah. Wait, what? I have to fight again? That didn't actually kill me. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll take that. If there's no lasting consequences, we. Ah, I'm sorry. <clears throat> and this time I'm prepared. Without the sword. Oof. That boss fight? Yes, it looks like it, even though I just fought him. Looks like this one's got some additional moves. Dashed right into him that time. <sighs> I mean, he's not hard he's, so far. Unless he learns some new attacks, it's just I'm being a dunce. Stupid stuff. Oh, I can... Like he has tells for all his moves. Just 
I am flubbering something fierce. And it's quite embarrassing. Oh no, that was my point of time to heal! Ah, balls. I was doing really well that time. I was actually doing really well for a bit, for a bit there. So I can do it again. I believe in myself. So let's see this. <gasps> okay, cool. Oh, that gets me out of the dream. Interesting. So I can do the jump. I can go like, wee. Whoops. Oh, interesting. Okay. Anyways, now that I kind of messed that up for myself by having that, by having that pop up. I'm coming into the fight. Two hearts down. <laughs> Oops. popping. They only have like one hit point. I have this stinky cloud above myself. So it's actually saving me from these silly uh, goops. into everything. <laughs> and I oops, oops, oops. Okay, but now I know that those gloops are being killed by my stinky cloud. Which makes a big difference knowing that. Oh, I second-guessed myself. And that cost me a lot of heart. sit back and heal whenever I want.
another dash. Ah! That dash move that messes me up. Wow, he's got a lot of health. Oh, I got him! I got him this time! Yeah! Peace. There. I got you for good. Hello, ghosty. Tell me about yourself. Okay, he's just been one with me now. GG, oh thank you. Holy crap, that got me 400 dream souls? Woo hoo, baby. Wow. That was very nice. I am pleased with that. Oh, right, this was the shortcut back. I believe. Oh, wait, and then I couldn't get here because I need the double jump, and now I've got the double jump. I go, wee! I think. Yes, I'm correct. Oops. Yes. Super happy. I like how it sounds like a big balloon being blown up. So now they're gonna make me do all kinds of crazy, cool moves like that, eh? Whoops. Karaoke time? Alright, see you later. <laughs> Interesting, so how am I going to do this? I gotta do it from over here. Maybe? That doesn't make sense. Nope, never mind. I thought it does make sense, apparently. <laughs> Catch you later, Anna. Thanks for stopping by. As I slowly rehydrate myself. Oh, so this is so nice. I finally have everything. Stop. <laughs> I need to go on the bench. Oh, there we go. Map updated. Look at all that. Oh, which means I could probably go to the palace grounds because the palace ground. Shoot. Was that one where I needed the... Yes, it was right here. So now I can go, like, everywhere. Oh, hello. Corpse in white armor. Oh, is this the king? The white king? The dream's not working on him. Hmm. Where have you gone, dear king? Interesting. Hidden station. 
Ah, there we go. Good, because there's no stags around here. Hmm, excuse me. That pass you hold! Is it not for that ghastly machine, the tram? I hope you're not thinking of writing on that grotesque contraption. I thought a mere machine could attempt what we stags do. Foolish, very sweet. Ah, what a station. What station is this? Hidden all the way at the bottom of the world. Until I heard that bell calling, I didn't even know the stagways traveled so deep. You've discovered something quite astounding, little one. No matter how old I grow, the world seems still keeps surprises like this stored away. Alright, what's this one? Ah, this is uh, over here. Looks like the palace grounds there. It's, the map shows little fingers underneath it, as it were. Yeah, like right here. I could just travel through quickly like this. <laughs> Alright, well, let's just go and go travel all the way back up to Dirtmouth then. Alright, I still have to go rescue Zot again. He doesn't talk to me much anymore because I always stink. So I really like this thing. It's great. Okay, yep, yeah, no. I uh, cleaned him out. We've got this person here. <sighs> Bapanada. Alright, nothing there. What you got? Glad I put down my weapon. This quiet life with Corny makes me a lot happier. Be nice to stretch my legs again, though. Sometime soon. Papanada. Oh, nobody's sleeping there this time. Okay, yeah, let's do the same. Oh, no! <sighs> Papanada. I know it's, it's just so depressed. Their, their life is. I feel. I can't blame them. Work in retail, sometimes that's that is how you feel. You're just like <sighs> bah, banana. Just bah, banana. <laughs> just, you can tell that the whole emotion behind it, everything is just just there. It's so real. Didn't get this. After all this time. Shields. Give me those shields. I like the shields. To protect my hands. going to do is we're going to go up and explore this the outside world again. Once the outside world has been fully explored, we're going to be working our way through the whole map again. Now that I've got the double jump, I will be able to actually know if I'm freaking going got everything. Because there were some world areas in the world that I could not get to because of I needed a double jump. Sadly, I don't think I put a marker down in every single one of those. So that means, that means I have no clue what I missed out on because it still shows as uh, explored. So then we just gotta go past all these spikes all the way up, climbing along our way. Whee!
trouble I'm holding. Okay, I'm guessing this way would down his dirt mouth, so yeah, I don't want to go that way. Okay, but down this way was that nice, lovely. Didn't say was. Oh, yeah, Johnny's rest. There we go. All right, then this is where I'd. Been there, that bomb. Hmm, I forgot what it was made of. Well, I'm sorry, I should have bothered you. I'm happy that you're able to train on another nail master and grow stronger than you. So yes, he was happy that I had trained under his brother. We now save that we're over here. Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> now, I had explored here already once before as well. That's Gorb the Great Mind, yes, and I have defeated Gorb the Great Mind. I remember doing that. Yeah! It's close. Wait, what's down here? Oh, hello there. Mm -hmm. Nice and full. I get one more. One more of those uh, soul jars. I will have enough to fill up an extra soul thing once I complete, once I run out. Okay, so there's something here. Oh, I see a, a blue mark. map for this area. Oops. Oopsies. Butterflies mean more shields. I can go for shields. I like shields. Hello? Oh wait, wasn't this- yeah, no, this is just where I got in the- hey, wait, huh? Ah, I see you bear my blessing. I can't remember giving it, but my memory has been a little lacking of late. Isn't it just so peaceful here? Such a perfect place to rest. Sorry, ghost. But at least now you can rest. <laughs> Whoopsies. Don't mind me. No, sir, I am a... Hey, Bo! Oh my, I haven't seen you, uh... On the, this put time and... Well, a long time. How's it going? Yeah! I think last time was when you had a... What was it? Dance thing with a volleyball team? Was it? Three o'clock in the morning? Yeah. I think you would have gone out partying with that. Oh my goodness. How are you doing this fine morning? Ah! Aha! I knew it. I know time zones are just not nice that way, eh? 
I mean, I'm able to watch yours and Tails' streams all the time because, well, I'm, I'm at work. <laughs> and it's, so it's after, what was it, evening usually for you, both of you at that point. Or, which is like when I normally stream at my time, so it makes total sense. Oh, that's a big thing. You're doing great, good to hear. Well, things are going actually quite well for me now. Um, I got my jumping, my double jump finally in Hollow Knight here, which I've been waiting for and f to get and f uh, I, I needed it so bad. So I'm really happy I have it finally. <laughs> and then other than that, my beer is almost ready to be bottled. I'm super excited. The, the bubbles have gone down a lot. My beans, these words are for you, lonely, but I stretch Yes, okay, we know that. Don't come in the planes, you forget things when you're in the planes. Oh, hello. See, there was a broken wall here. That's what I thought. Oh, hello. Corpse of a large bug. Oh. <laughs> you say you must drink so much drink like you did. <laughs> did all oh, my me. <laughs> Didn't really do anything. But something happened. Interesting. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, my webcam I can't really go show you because the beer is supposed to be in a dark place as well. It's under my desk right now. Getting to that point where the the bubbling in the air raiders pretty much stopped. There's still some though, so I'm still waiting to finish up on that because <coughs> it needs to get down below a 1.02 gravity. Otherwise, I'll blow up your bottles when you bottle it. And I don't want that, no sir. Okay, so I can't go past here. Oh. All right, apparently that is it for this area. I just missed that one little bit. That broken wall right there. But yeah, after bottling, because I, I, I did it from a kit, so I've got instructions. <laughs> just to make sure I'm doing it right. I still got put, it's in the secondary fermenter. Then I gotta prime it. Gotta do that bottling sugar, mix it all together in another new pail again, and then siphon it into my bottles. And then once it's in the bottles, it sits for seven to ten days, and then it's good to go. Uh, yes, this way. Though so I am very excited because the last beer batch I had done. Oh, God. <laughs> it was in. Uh, let's see here. It come inside a growler like this. Well, it's not that it came in, but I was to. You had to brew it, and it was, it was a small amount, but I had messed up at some point. I didn't realize I had the aerator on top, and I didn't. I was used to making mead, which yeah bubbles, but it doesn't go crazy. But in the airlock. It was, the foam was going up, out of the airlock, it was crazy, it was too pressurized for that small of a bottle. So I thought, crap. Okay, here, I'm going to try to pop the lid just a little bit to elite, let out some of the pressure. You know how, like, when you're opening a shaken Coke can or Pepsi or any other soda drink, you can, you can open it really slowly. So it's, you hear the, all that pressure going out, but it doesn't explode on you. And then if you keep going really slow, you can fully open it. That didn't work out. No, sir. <laughs> so you know just how... Uh... Whoa, Lance! Woo, six months! Damn, your book... Your 
bookshelf should be getting more full than that. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Got two rows of books. What was it? Three, six? Yeah, so that's your second row of books there, and it only gets more full mm -mm -mm, as the time goes on. Well done, sir. Thank you very much for the six months. This is like boss music. Yeah, a bit here. So anyways, as, as I'm sure you all know, uh, much like with soda cans, when they are under pressure like that, what happens is it explodes. Now, luckily, well, no, not luckily, this was when I decided to try doing this, it was around 11.30 at night. And so I popped it and then, but no, because it was so pressurized, God, BRB, all right, we'll see you in a bit, Lance. Because it was so pressurized in that bottle, the whole thing just shot out. I loosened it enough where, uh, I don't have a cork that I can show you right now, but like every, the aerator sh ended up shooting out. No, wait, no, the aerator stuck in because I had it again, but the lid just popped out of my hand and beers just started going whoosh, right up into the air. It was going everywhere. Like, oh, no, I was trying to cover it with my hands as best I could. It's shooting out like, whoosh, everywhere. I'm running into the bathroom with it. Big trail of beer going whoosh, everywhere around me. My clothes were getting sopping wet. Got it into the tub. I, finally, I lost, oh God, I think at least a quarter of the jug. Of that jug. Just from getting spewn out everywhere. And it smelled heavily of beer everywhere in the house for a long time. And I was... Oh gosh, I think I didn't get to bed around 1 that night. Because I had... I was just... Stuck cleaning it from everywhere. And it was sticky because, you know, there's some sugars in the beer at that point and everything. A beer douche. Oh man, it was more like a beer shower. It was everywhere. <laughs> Full head to toe. <laughs> and I was just left laughing because it was just ridiculous the amount. I felt so bad because it was such a big waste of the beer too. I was like, no, why? <laughs> why did I do this to myself? Ah. <sighs> The beer wasn't ruined, I just lost a bunch. So I put the aerator on, it finished as normal, and it was still delicious. <laughs> this time, this is much larger carboy, so there was a bit more headroom. I had some more breathing room. Oh, these were guys. I remember them. <laughs> Not so strong now, are you? Oh, I'm really excited that this for this batch because it's going to be a properly fully brewed beer. Start to end. It's supposed to do something like 76 bottles worth. And I'd only paid, like, what was it, $56 for the kit? Hey, Batman, how's it going? Hope things are going along swell for you. I'm regaling everybody with tales of my my poor first beer making experience. <laughs> and how this batch, this batch is going to go great. Be lovely. Although this one also had its uh, down points. I, uh, after I had brewed it, it was in the pot and finished the boiling process and you're supposed to put a bunch of cold water reduce the temperature fast so this way it doesn't overboil as well as the fact that you can oh i should go finish checking this out did i finish this in here oh nice and this way you can put the yeast in and it's not too hot where it'll kill the yeast because you know that's kind of what makes your alcohol Whee! Ooh, that was close Okay. Well, what's the use of this? 
What in the world? Why? <laughs> Alright, well, there's nothing on that side, so... Map, go away. <laughs> um, now, what happened with me is, um... I put in, like, my big bottles left, but it was room temperature water, so it was still stupid hot after. So I figured, all right, I'm gonna go put it downstairs in the snow, or outside in the snow for a while, in, a, in the lid, in the, after it's been in the fermenting pail. So I did that, and then it just was taking way too long to be cool, cool, and then I was afraid that I was going to forget it, and it was going to freeze, or some parts on the outside were going to freeze, and it was going to ruin the various things of the grain, so I'm like... I'm going to bring it inside. I eventually... What was that? How did I do it? I think I just ended up bringing it downstairs and let it cool off naturally for a while. Then I put it, pitched the beer in and all that. It, it was still a little too hot. What kind of beer? It's a pale ale. From a, from a beer kit. So I, I don't... Crushed grain. Oh, it doesn't have the exact uh, what kind of hops and stuff were used, though. But yes, it's going to be a pale ale. So I put it downstairs. Now, unfortunately, Canadian winters are really cold. While it felt warm enough downstairs, but I had the, I had the carboy down to the floor. So it was actually lot colder down there so the temperature dropped 10 degrees lower than what it normally should be so that that's not gonna kill the yeast but it made it where it was going really slow it was sluggish uncle runs a brewery Ooh, very nice oh you're new what's this this way this way ah oh, look there's something strange and sinister has suddenly appeared oh, it fills me with dread I think it best I try to ignore it. Oh, it's dirty. <gasps> oh, these things! Ooh, I think we're gonna save before we go in there. Oh! Oh! Interesting. Uh, well, let's go in the big tent first. Do, 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 do. Hello, accordion man. Babala, Geno. Mm -hmm. You called us? Speak to master. When flame burns bright inside one's mind, kin heed the call across lands and time. Oop. It's gonna be a boss fight? has been lit. Your summons aided. A fine stage you choose. This kingdom fallowed by worm and root. Perfect earth upon which our ritual shall take place. And you, my friend, your own part is far from over. As the lantern flared, your role was cast. Our compact written in scarlet fire. Eager we are to see you commence, but first... Some illumination is required. Grim child. Oh, so bad. Across these lands, my kin now spread, harvesting that essence peculiar to my breed. The flame in dream. Seek my kin, claim their flame, and return it to me. Together, marvel shall be achieved. But don't fret, small one. For this task, you won't travel alone. My child shall guide you to the flame and gather within itself that burning essence. Like you, the child plays key role in this task. Only with it by your side will the flame and my kin reveal themselves to you. Okay. Baba Gondala. The flame, seek it out for master, for our kin. 
Mm. Okay, yep, yeah, same thing. So what's inside this one? Oh, hello! Oh, hey, got your bet. Finally working for a few minutes. <laughs> Jeez. I saw you were playing Devil May Cry earlier, Bait, if I was, if that's correct. At least you have a single player game you can play offline, right? Right? Yeah? This way you're not totally bored, not being able to play Apex and so on. <laughs> ah! Did you call us? You called us and we came. We came. You don't look scared. Why did you call us? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. Don't tell me. We came and I can smell something. Something deep below us. I want it. I want it. I've already ah, called. that smell is so strong. So virile. But not the odor that calls to me. Crave a different smell. Precious. Sensitive. Fragile. Ah, bring it. Wear it. I've already crossed. Fragile. She likes the smell. That mantis guy likes the smell. Ooh. Wear it. Okay. How's the going? The going is doing pretty well. Um, I've I've got my double jump in this finally, so I'm super happy about that. Brr, brr. See you in a bit there, Batman. We want fragile greed. Yes. Actually, you know what? Let's put on all the fragiles and see what happens. Ooh. I've I've gotten I've gone pretty far in this game now. I think. Okay, right. What does this Grimkin thing do? Grim child, worn by those who take part in the Grim Troops ritual, the bear must sleep the Grimkin and will collect their flames. Uncollect the flames will appear on the bear's map. Ah, nice. Okay, well I won't need the compass. Alright, fine, we'll take a soul catcher. Actually, we might need to take out all of them. Fragile heart, fragile strength. Oh, okay. There, those are all three fragiles. And how are you doing, mate? How is life without internet? I, I can't even imagine. Ah, oh, that charm! Beautiful! Most precious thing! Little lovely! Will you let me see it? Have to show it to me? Okay, fragile heart charm. Okay. That's really annoying beyond imagine. Oh, I believe it. Ah, uh, oh, charm lost. Such a little beauty, such a smell, such a smell. Ah. Oh, crap! She ate my charm! Oh. Ah, so good, so tasty. A perfect, perfect thing. Just for me. Ah. Beautiful, delicious. Ah, you're good, little lovely. You're very sweet to bring me such a gift. Oh, hello. But who made my gift? Ah, somewhere below, yes? Very good gift, very tasty, delicious. I've already you want something little lovely? You don't want to take my gift back, do you? Ah, so nasty, so cruel. That's true, once you give something as a gift, it's lost to you forever. No you feel so greedy, but I can show you something if you're nice to me, little lovely. Will you do a nice thing, lovely? Give them to me, your Geo. Give me your Geo and I will give you a gift. Ready to get gift. Oh, 12,000 Geo. <laughs> No, Geo, why you don't? Don't why don't you have enough Geo? Aber not sla. And that's for the heart, though. I don't want that one. Oh. Hmm. That's a lot of Geo for that. So she eats the fragile orbs. Mm. So we're going to quickly try something here. We're going to go like this. Going to go like this. Basically, restart the game. And I want to see. If it's the same price for all of them. 
Because I read about the Grim Troop a little bit, because I was wondering about it. And you get them back, but you have to pay for them. And I don't care about the extra health all that much. Oh no! So it did save with it. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Well, that kind of sucks. Ah, well. Because I would have rather gone fragile... Fragile greed back, so I could have gotten more money. Ah, uh, well. It's a grim child. Mark of Pride. So, Bait, I assume that, um... They came by and said that they fixed it. The only thing you can do is... Switch providers? Is that is that really all you can do at this point now? If so, that, that does really suck. Get extra soul. No, I'm not... I don't think I'll be dying anytime soon, so let's get Fragile Greed. It's cheap enough to fix it. Oh, look at my little friend! <laughs> so, flames. Oh, okay, Rick. Well, that's neat. I need to get three flames. There's one flame there. Let's go get these flames. Jump, 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 jump. There we go. Whoa. Now what I'm wondering is, is this guy going to help in combat or anything, or is he just floating about keeping me company? <laughs> oh! I have to fight them! <laughs> oh, come on, buddy, you're that far away. <laughs> Teleport it away before I can bounce off of him. <laughs> this is a, such an annoying place for it to be a fight of. There we go. Flame consumed. All right, well, that's one flame down. Oh. Now we go back to town. Oh, where are we going? We're going to the end of the world. Oh. Wait. Oh! <laughs> I totally jumped all Oh, is that like one of the ways to get here? Ah, uh, that's kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Oh, right. So, how many? Oh, 
Ah, uh, well, I do have some things that I could sell. Possibly get me closer to 12,000. We've got that simple key. All right, we still have the elegant key to go through as well. Stagway, we're going to go to the next. Next flame. It's over here. So the Lake of Umisodo. when I get all three of these flames. Am I going to get something cool? Will this guy be able to attack? Because he's not attacking right now. Oh, I got used to my little fairies picking up all the coins for me. Now I have to do it. <laughs> Alright, almost there. This way, to the right. Oof. There it is. Oh, crying out loud. At least I can chase him better this time. Okay, I can only. Oh, I jumped too high. Okay, so I can't get two hits. <laughs> Much easier that time. Flame consumed. Which leaves one flame left over at the City of Tears. <gasps> Which is right by Stagway. Oh, that's exciting. Uh, da, 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 da. We're going to go quickly back. Oh, hello. Oh, like hello, Nessie. Cool. Okay, so now I'm going to go all the way back. A little disappointing. You need to do that, but you know. We're getting these flames a lot quicker than I thought we would. Because we've already been to these areas. Now the thing is, I have actually... <sighs> I was right at that Grim Troop place a lot earlier in the game. And I guess I missed that broken wall that was right there. So I saw it this time because I guess I realized how to look for broken walls now. Uh... Or cracked walls, I should say. Save one final flame to go. Uh, city storerooms, I believe it was. This should be right outside. Excellent. And while we're here, I actually have one other place to go as well for this key. guys quickly. This is where the flame is. Just need to find it. There it is. Oh, oh there's spikes! Fine, we're going to go down here. Down here will make it look. Oh, 
this is easy. <laughs> if you do it quick enough, you're able to get those easy hits in while he's dashing. Oh, I don't know if I got that second hit off there. There, all three flamed. Boom. All right, now before we go back, I wanted to go use this key. Because there is that one doorway over there that I'm still waiting to, to actually go do. Yes, not but alright. Let me go down. Well, I may as well rest since we're here. Save that we got the flame in case something happens. Go to the right. <laughs> Laugh at this guy as he damages us and go oops. Hey buttons! Was that thing following you? Do you have a pet now? Yes! And apparently I had to go grab some flames. He was helping me gather the flames and see the flames on the map. This is part of the Grim Dawn Troop. So now that I've done that, I've gathered all three flames. I have to go back to the town. And then something's gonna happen. I don't know what. There we go, insert the elegant key. Beautiful. I've been holding onto this damn key for so long. Feels good to finally use it. Ah! What is this? Son of a gun! I take it back, it's not good anymore. <laughs> Damn assassin bugs. Oh, and I don't have my... my farts on anymore right now either. Jeez. <laughs> Can you cook it? Well, I'm sure if I tried hard enough, maybe. Although it's rather dead-eyed, so I don't know if it, ooh, if it would be that tasty. So, my question for you, Buttons, is how's that chainsaw going? Uh, I, you know, now that you've been told that you can chainsaw your, your brain. Figure connected to it a device. Examine closely? Okay. What can go wrong? Possibly go wrong. Consume the Shade Soul. Tap E to unleash a more powerful spirit. The spell consumes the same amount of soul with increased power. Ah, okay. All our food is dead. Technically, yes. There. So I now have two Shade spells. Descending Dark and Shade Cell. Soul. I need Howling Wraiths. Oh, oh gosh, is it just me or does that go faster too? Maybe. I'm bleeding a lot, thank you very much. Ooh. You did it wrong, man. You should be bleeding. Go back to town or figure out what this place down here is. Uh, we're going to figure out what this place is. Oh. Hey, Zookeeper Chris, thank you so much for the host. How was the rest of Anthem? Did you get any fat loots? Did you fight the Titans? And did it make that big of a difference what the patch notes said? Seriously gave up on the short film team? Was it participate? Oh man, some had other priorities in the show. That sucks. I hate team projects can either be a lot of fun and great 
every, when everybody pulls their weight, or they can just be a total drag like that when they when you're the only one that's willing to do the work, and everybody else just sits on their butts. <sighs> Sorry to hear that, man. That really that really sucks, and it grinds my gears. Beautiful, you did all the things. Oh, that is amazing. How many legendaries are you at now? Because I know you've gotten a few. I, I, I'm still just at the one. Oh, <laughs> I hit him into the spikes. I like that you can do that to enemies in this game. You can actually hit them into the... Um, the dangerous parts of the terrain. Whether it be the acid, crystals, spikes, no matter what. They die to it as well. So you can play around that and actually really kill a bunch of, bunch, bunch of guys. Mm. Chalk it up to people not having enough passion for it. One day I'll study actual filmmaking somewhere good, like Canada or America. No big deal. Yeah, I guess if you're doing it just for the credits, I can see why they wouldn't have enough passion. And without that passion, yeah. Why, why bother doing it? But still, if you're only using one or two. Just found a legendary weapon that might be worth using. Most legendary found bad rolls. Hey, oh, hey, it's still a legendary. I don't know. One of the things I'm a little disappointed with is the legendaries. I think, from what I found, correct me if I'm wrong. Excuse me. They're just better versions of the masterworks. Like they have some higher damage, for example, for a weapon. Maybe a bit higher inscriptions, and then that's it, right? All right, let's go see what happens when I give this guy his three flames. Oh, your first masterwork. Nice, HF. Nice. Oh, I can feel it. The warmth of the flame you've gathered together. A masterful opening act. The air hums with excitement. Dear child, you've done so well. Let your fire burn even brighter. <gasps> it's got little wings! Beautiful, yes. The child has grown from idle youth to deadly companion. About these dangerous lands, its aid will no doubt be welcome. Just don't neglect our dance, for it too continues. Keep hunting that scattered scarlet essence. When the child is filled with flame once more, return to the stage and the performance will begin. <gasps> so I'm powering up my comp- Oh, yes. Just yes. Okay. This is now my new goal. I am going to get the strongest, best friend, best, best friend ever. And he's going to love me and stay with me for the rest of my journey. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Yeah, higher base damage, and they have a potential to have even better inscriptions. Yeah. Sexy machine pistol danger. Ooh, sexy danger. Sexy right. Hey, want to buy a new mouse and mouse pad? What should I consider to improve your game? Okay. Well, first of all, while a lot of mice tote having high DPI settings, don't care about that. Because in shooters and stuff, if you're looking at the pros and so on, they actually have a really low DPI in game because tracking, and this is what I found. I used to be running my mouse at 3000 DPI. Crazy, I know. I only had to move it like an inch and it goes from one side of the screen to the other. That's how crazy it was, but I was used to that. However, in shooting games, and I'm considering we've played Apex together, I'm assuming you're gonna be mainly looking for that if you're talking about improving your game, then, Having it that high, it becomes too twitchy. Because if you go too far, it's hard to keep a bead on somebody with strafing. Whereas with the high DPI, you can it's a lot easier to keep your hand going like this at a steady distance. Instead of like, this, this slow to track somebody, it, it's really hard. And I that's why I totally agree with that. I, I was in there just trying my hardest. Alright, little guy, let's see how you can fight. Oh, again with the spikes. Oh no! I'm sorry. Was he down here? No. Oh. 
Okay, I'm guessing it's... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, other than that, it comes down to... Are you going to be playing MMOs? Because... Side buttons. My mouse, I have the... Uh, side buttons like this. For MMOs, that's not enough. <laughs> it's only six buttons. But, I mean, it's good for games that there's only a few buttons that you want to map. I personally have just my number four as my push to talk. So, so this way, on my mouse, I, while I'm playing like this, because I have my thumb resting on this side here, I can just be holding one of these mouse keys done, down. So this way, that's my push to talk button on things. So I'm not worrying about... This hand on my WASD and other keys, I have to hold down multiple keys in random positions in case I need to go blah! Twitch Mobile's so weird on my browser directory. That was in such a random order, not by view. Oh, uh, yeah, Twitch Mobile, I, I don't know. It, it's it's there, and that's about all I can say. <laughs> oh, that's odd. Where's the flame? over here. Maybe it's higher? No, it's over there. God, what about mouse pads? Are there better kinds? <sighs> I had a hard one at first. Um, so, for example, like, one of these kind of guys. Ooh. However, um, when I bought this mouse, I got one of the cloth ones. Woo. Have I seen a performance increase? No. It's, it's pretty much the same, despite it saying, it tracks your mouse better, and blah 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 blah. However, to be fair, I like how I can just roll it up. It's flip floppy, it's nice and soft on my hand. I like all that. I don't really need a wrist support, but you could get some of the wrist supports, I suppose. Where is that guy? Where is he? Um, other than that... Okay, is it like below that? Oh, it is, okay. So awesome. Oh, he's a big fellow. <gasps> he spits! Ah, my little friend spits at people. <laughs> uh, there are some mice. Oh gosh, he's where you can get add weights to them as well. So this way it's a little heavier and more enjoyable. <laughs> Pretty much you have to figure out what you want in your mouse. <laughs> Don't get absorbed into like gamer jargon say things saying, Oh this is a great gaming mouse because blah 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 high DPI, great sensitivity. Mice are pretty, I find. As long as it works, it has the buttons that you need, the weight that you like, whether it's a left-handed, right-handed mouse. How many flames am I supposed to get with this guy actually? Oh, it's just three flames again. Well, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Yeah. Twitch mobile sucks, lost massive delay. Yes, the delay kills it for me. I agree, Chris, it's the worst. Your basic mouse had a razor mouse once, but it's so problematic, I returned it. I find that the... The Razor mice I've had, I haven't been impressed with, to be honest. They work great, but they seem to have a very low life expectancy. That they die pretty quick. As I say, because I've used it two years, I mean, 
I've been told by office people that, not office people, but game store people that usually two years is good for a mouse. But really, I don't that crazy with it. I shit in the bed within three months. Oof. Yeah, no, I usually get a couple of years out of the Razer ones. But the Logitech, I feel, is actually pretty nice as well. Um, it's... I, I can't really give you a 100% yeah, get this mouse, because the, it is rather subjective as to what your needs are as well, and what kind of aesthetics you like. Because some mice have... And the ergonomics of your hand. You know your hand and how you like to rest it on mice. A lot of them are different shapes and so on that help with uh, holding it a certain way. And... Yeah, but I, I can recommend Logitech, to be honest. I, I've, I've enjoyed their stuff. I haven't had problems with it. The Razer headphones I had problems with. The Razer mice I find are die, die quick for me. Whereas I have a Logitech G10 keyboard, and it's been perfectly fine the entire time. I've had it for years and years and years. Uh, what else do I have Logitech? Can't remember what else on the top of my head. But it's been pretty good. Oh, well, I'm like right here anyways. To the Stagway! So I am going to... <laughs> Forgotten Crossroads. Because then I can just go down here, take the tram over this way to Blue Lake. Grab that flame. Go down. Oh. Yep, then start going down here. Down. All this way. Get that flame. Alright. Forgotten Crossroads. Ancestral Mount. If anybody else has recommendations for my spot, feel free to speak up. I have very limited experience, as I got Razer products two times in a row for my mice, because they were on sale. I think that's a big portion of it for me as well. I'm, I'm a cheap bastard. <laughs> I like to get things on Black Friday sales, and I sit there, wait for Amazon sales, and all that stuff. And mice actually go on sale quite often, too. So depending on... On how things are in your areas. In terms for... Uh, getting things from, like, Amazon and so on. I would highly suggest... Uh, oh, goodness! Do I still have fragile... Yes, I still have fragile greed on. Yes, I do. Perfect. Okay. So I've got a lot more health now, so I'm happy about that. How have your bunny adventures been going tonight? <gasps> <laughs> I am pleased with my progress in this thus far. I've gotten my double jump, which was my main goal for tonight. I wanted to get this double jump. Where's the death counter? Oh, you know what? That actually would have been a really good idea. That would have. Where, where were you, Chris? Where were you when I started this? I, t I totally have it set up from my Dark Souls playthrough. I totally could have. I feel like if I add it now, it'd be too late. Unless I just, like, gotta pump those numbers up just like. Boom, 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 boom. I've died at least 50 times, I know it. <laughs> uh, that'd just be a total disingenuous number. Oof. That's a good idea. I'll have to keep that in mind. I mean, it's literally in an overlay right here. See, if I pop. Boop! Ta da! From my Dark Souls 3 playthrough. That was where, my death counter that I was at currently at. And I just have it as hidden right now. 
Oh, is that other thing hidden too? Let's see. No, it's not. Okay. All Father, guide me to your flame. You now need to go back and watch every vine and count every death. Oh gosh. <laughs> that would take a while. That would take a Oh gosh, the arena deaths. Oh dear lord. <laughs> I don't even want to think about those. <laughs> I wonder how strong these spits are. Oh, jeez. That's a decent fire rate for those spitballs, too. Decent fire rate. I like... I now, for those of you who played with me or heard me talking about games like Grim Dawn and so on, I love playing summoners. My favorite thing in, in any game is if I can have minions. I am the guy who loves to sit back and let my minions do my dirty work. Buff them, curse the enemies, whatever, and just sit there and go, <laughs> Go forth, my minions, destroy! Do Canadians celebrate the blessed day of daylight savings time? Yes, that is tonight. And I am laughing so much at all of the people on Facebook because there was uh, a lot of people I know was going around saying, <laughs> going, saying that they were uh, falling, yeah, going back an hour instead of forward. Oh my goodness, forward an hour? I'm just sitting here like, no, it's spring forward, fall back. Because they're making posts of that, and then other people are going, uh. So I'm wondering how many people are going to mess up tomorrow. It's an endless cycle, I know. Now, I was, I was talking about this a little bit earlier, that this stream with Anna, but I'm looking very forward to this because my kids right now, one of them likes to wake up at 6.30 in the morning. And it hurts my very soul. <laughs> because I, I like going to bed a little bit later. And, uh... Well, I could go down this way. No. Yes, because that does go across. We're going to test this out. i test this theory out. So we would decide to debate if it's necessary as well. Yes. And with kids, sometimes it could totally mess- Oh, I have full health. Why am I doing that? Sometimes it could be nice, other times not so much. Like right now, instead of his 6.30 wake-ups, which are way too damn early, it's now going- No, down! It's now going to turn into a 7.30 wake-up, which- Thank you. Thank you so much. It's going to be nice. So I'm looking very much to that. It's just because the sun starts coming in and shining in on his eye. Well, not on his eye, he's got things to cover it, but still. Uh, a nice sun blocking uh, window shade? Yes. That's the right word. Curtain! That's the word I'm searching for! But he likes, one of his favorite things is to go open it and look outside. So it's like, don't do that. Oh, I could have gone through this stick. Well, no, I got flame as well. I, no, no, I don't know, I'm confused. I lost, lost all sight of myself. Okay, so now we can go through this way. Kill these little guys. I'll go through the wall. Go this way. Wait. Have I not? Okay. Maybe that logical from a cat won't pot <laughs> Cats? No, oh, I don't know. Animals are a different beast, as I'm sure you're aware of. They tend to have their own clocks and circadian rhythms and all that junk that are far stronger than that of us mere humans. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> 
Oh no! Where is he? No! Oh, it's gonna be a pain in the butt trying to fight him on here. Cats aren't real. Come on, Chris. It's all up to you, my little friend. Oops, I wasn't paying attention. Too busy admiring his, his spinning abilities. Dude, dude, I'm really excited to get him to the next power level. <gasps> oh, oh, and Grim Dawn is getting another expansion right away. So I'm super excited. So if you don't mind me asking, Chris, how many pets do you have? I know you've got the two dogs. You were talking about your saltwater tank. So you've got fish. I assume. And now you mention a cat. Oh my gosh, that's so many flames. Ah! Success is mine. Alright, now we can go back. That guy's still here? Ah, I keep thinking those things in the back are... Something I can hop on. Uh, I can't remember which sea of tears I came in from. I think it was a taller one. Oh, it was this one. It was this one. Alright, simple key. Can oh, that's right, simple key. Can I go in this door now? Two dogs, one cat, some fish, and a wife. <laughs> Well, that's true, you've got to keep them all happy, otherwise rebellion. Lock padded door. I'll break into there someday. Plenty of animals work content with what we have at home. Yeah. <laughs> Which is why I was, I was shocked. Well, not shocked, but you've got a lot of pets to care for, is all. I struggle with the one dog sometimes because we have kids, and the kids are very needy. And our dog is really needy. <laughs> oh, okay. I shouldn't say our dog is needy. She's not. She's a good girl. She's a very good girl. And she don't, she just needs the same amount of love and attention as any dog. It's just hard sometimes with multiple young kids who don't feel like going outside and for walks. Because <laughs> they're feeling lazy. Or they walk too slow for our poor puppers who wants to go fast. We'll be, pulling it, we'll be trying to walk with them. And she's pulling on the leash like, come on, let's go! Let's go! Cat takes care of themselves, the dogs aren't too bad. Yeah, cats, I find, probably aren't going to be the worst. They're fine being by themselves for the most part. Dogs, though, you gotta make sure we've got the right exercise. That they have some social, seeing other dogs sometimes. Stuff, can't handle pets, can't even care for myself. I, I know the feels, man. If there's a new game that's out, that I'm really looking forward to, like, uh, well, heck, any new game that comes up that I'm looking forward to when I buy a release back in the day. I, I always just kind of, uh, would just sit there playing it for a long time and I would eat. Got three doggy Fitbits? That sounds interesting. How does that work? Like, is it a collar? I'm guessing it's a collar. Oh, they'll let her go on their feet. I just find the dog's legs are too skinny to put things on but to have it stay on. I can't believe I'm paying 12,000 shields when I'm going to rumble, rumble, rumble. I took part in a study to get it. Therefore, once again, it's redone with the DNA test. Oh, that's neat. Why is there upwards thing? If I can't go up? Oh, I should go to the old lady this year, actually. 
Because in all honesty, I, uh... I've got lots of soul again. A small attachment that goes on the collar, okay. Because I know with Fitbits, because I've got one. They say that it tracks all kinds of things, movements to register a proper stride instead of just a left to right. So I was curious if the dogs... Well, I guess because their, their necks don't necessarily bob up and down as they walk. Let me have a look at the dream now. So you already have 700 essence. I wonder whether the dreamers are watching you as you work, or even that old king. That lock of theirs. Desperate, but very clever. I wonder how long they thought it could hold. I hold no disdain for them, though. As history goes on, I grow numb to its repetitions. Take your gift and continue collecting essence. Once you have 900, come back and visit me. Hey, sure, it's nice, 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 nice. Oh, one more to go. The dream now, now who's 900 essence within its core. Are you surprised that this old kingdom has so many hidden dreams? Yes, you're starting to see them. The connections between us and the dreams we leave behind, like prints in the dust. The time has come for you to learn how to revisit the places connected to you. Ooh. Hold the dream nail tight, we'll learn. Imagine a great gate opening before you. What's this? What am I getting? Master the dream gate. Hold Y. Hold it down. Hold down while using the dream nail to set a dream gate. Hold up while using the dream nail to travel to the dream. <gasps> you got that. Oh, oh man. Jack's the motions for dogs. Can recognize them in the rest and play and go. Oh, well, that's nice. Ah, uh, dream nail's going so lightly. Keep it up and return to me once you have 1,200 essence. Oh dear. So let's test it. Yes, I made I made one there. Oh, I think they. Oh my gosh, that's going to be freaking nice to have. Oh man. Because now I can leave that. I can leave that someplace. Heck, I can leave that in the main town. Dirt mouth, so I don't have to worry about going all the way back to a stag station. That seems super useful. Yeah. Oh. If I could just teleport back to town, then use the stag station to go back to where I want to be. Fast travel. Well, kind of. The lovely young lass returned to us. I must admit, I'd place thin odds on her survival. Seems to think very highly of her rescuer, some sort of dashing warrior type. Barely stopped gushing since she got back. The warrior must have passed down below whilst I was taking my nap. Such a shame. I'd have loved to meet so impressive a bug. Oh no, I didn't do his voice. To reach Dirtmouth, most travelers take circuitous routes around the cliffs beside us. It's a hard trek now, but in the kingdom's prime, things were far simpler. There's an old pass in the cliffs that once allowed easy access. The bridge up to it has long since crumbled away. And even without it, a huge door bars entry. I can't complain, mind you. It's meant we've only ever had to accommodate a trickle of travelers, even during our busiest times. I wouldn't want hordes of bugs to descend on the dirt mouth. I'd like the quiet. Oh, God. That noisy old lift, where did it go? Up to the mines they carved into the peak, I suppose. Have you been up there? Is it true the crystals grow everywhere you step? A villager brought some of those crystals back to the village once. I don't quite understand the allure myself. You can't eat them. And they don't make very good pillows. They hardly seem worth all the trouble to me. 
must head out and enjoy your bunny rabbit game. All right, thank you very much, Chris, for stopping by on the host. I appreciate it. You have yourself a wonderful evening. You must be exhausted because you you started pretty early today, and you were up late last night doing those uh the loop runs. <laughs> I'm sure you're exhausted. Have a good night. We'll catch you later. Look forward to seeing your next stream. Music's giving me some weird Skyrim vibes. It has a beautiful soundtrack. So nice. Oh, okay, that was all this chat. Okay, so this is... Oh, okay! So whenever the... Wait, Wanderer, don't be shy. Cold outside, bed is soft. All right, so when it's not on the bench, it's because it's in there sleeping. Gotcha. All right, let's go power up this guy again. Oh yeah, we have an awesome minion. Baba Gosdala. Mm, very good. The child burns with flame. Master's waiting for you. Hmm. Wonderful, my kin arrive, and the time has come. Nom! The searing fire, it carries well the ritual's promise. No, Siri, I'm not talking to you. I like that snap. Dance with me, my friend. The crowd awaits. Show them you are worthy of a starring role. Son of a bitch! Ah, ah, okay. Why? Why are you doing this? Ah, ah, so hot! So hot! Oh god! Is that the final boss? No. No, this is just a boss. <sighs> Crap. I broke my fragile greed. Alright, so... Uh... Well, I, I need to have Grimchild equipped. When I go in, there's the problem. Alright, let's take this off. We're going to go for... Ooh, heavy blow. No. Quick focus. So we can heal faster. I remember Tails being stuck on this one. I <laughs> have fun. Oh, oh. Alright. I got this. No problem, man. No freaking problem. You got this. Mmm. Easy. Wait, where's my soul? There it is. I don't need no extra soul coming into this fight. Please tell me I don't have to go through the chat all over again. Okay. Good. Uh -huh, I hit you. I hit you. Oh gosh, I was expecting that. Just gotta learn his attacks! Okay, when he dashes down. Oh. Oh, flames. Oh, I know that he does that too. Oh! I was not expecting that. Hit the hit by a flame. Appointments. 
I missed that! First time here. Okay, dodging fireballs. So, this is my second time fighting him. I died quick, very quickly the first time. <laughs> much for that follow. I really like the music for him. That's, that's a, like I said, this game has an amazing soundtrack. Alright. I'm gonna go gather some soul first, because I think if I go in there with a full amount of soul, it's, it's going to be pretty, I can do, I can do it. Because I think I got pretty far that fight. Quite spectacular. Good fight, thank you, thank you. I think I've got his patterns down of when is safe to attack. Come here, you. Oh my goodness. Well, that's okay. I don't have to use Soul to heal because I'm really close to the bench, and that's going to heal me right back up. I'm just constantly. Working on getting actual soul. Oh, I guess while I'm here, fine. Hello, money! Shower with me, though, with that lovely Geo. Mm. All in a seal, awesome. <laughs> How far are you so far? I have all the traverses. Oh, soul Thank you so much for that, host. I appreciate it. Hope you're having yourself a wonderful day. So I've got all the traversals, I've got all of these charms. Um, I got a couple shade souls, shade thingies, my coiled nail. So I'm missing three more geos I, for the next form. Uh, this is my map. I still need to get something to bypass shadow barriers. And then I think that's all the traversal stuff that I... Uh, to get me places in the game. I think. I hope. <laughs> I'm having a rough time of it. I kept running into all these areas that are like, Hey, you need to be able to double jump. And it's like, oh man. Oh, hello. I never thought about jumping up here. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah, no, I, I've I've been enjoying my my time with Hollow Knight so far. It's it's been a very enjoyable experience. I 
find that the combat is very nice and fluid. That's a thing? That's a thing. What's a thing? Did you see something? Did I say something? Oh, my gosh. I'm going too fast. I could probably get some hits in the way of doing that. Oh, oh gosh, I was not paying attention. Oh, I hit that. Oh! Missed that this year, kind of. <laughs> and that is one of the really cool things I like. I've had a couple people already that that have played this game a bunch, and I found a couple things that they didn't know about. So there's still little things out there that apparently some people haven't really found. Yet. Oh, interesting. Oh no, that was a mistake of mine. No, he's invulnerable. Okay. Good to know. Feel that spiky watermelon? Yeah, I would have loved to. Oh, for a Aesthetic, love the design, yes. And his moves are actually really neat, too. It's not just a ha 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 ha, I'm a crazy spellcaster or whatever. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I dashed right into him. to get better at learning when to hit him. Or when he's going to be doing certain times, I should say. Up to full health. We're good. Ah, monkeys. I like that he turns into a little spider to get away from you. Oh, too early. Too early. No, no! We've got pumpkin time. Time to make some pumpkin pie. So here's a question. Does any of you have out-of-season pumpkin pie? By out-of-season, I mean, like, outside of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Ooh, I second-guessed myself. Ooh, I second-guessed myself. Storm her! <laughs> He's learned that this is my weakest attack to, to prevent from. I haven't actually really made it myself. I should try that sometime. 
really do enjoy myself a good one. Uh, stores. Yeah, that's the thing. I mainly get it from stores. <laughs> Third time. Take that, Tails. <laughs> Bow for the performance. Course. Bravo, my friend. Hear how the crowd adores you. They've not seen such a show in a long time. I like his claps. His snaps, I should say, sorry. Look here how our child has grown, nourished and strengthened by the heat of our passionate dance. The two of you will forever in many tragedies and triumphs together, I'm sure. The future, sorry, the future. And as our great ritual nears its end, will you continue to harvest the flame, even though now you surely see the path it illuminates for us? Our scarlet eyes will watch you keenly, my friend. Go out into the darkness. Harvest the last lingering embers of this kingdom. Then return to me and we will complete our dance. The grand performance. Charm notch. <gasps> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes, I like extra charm notches. Okay, let's catch up on chat, see if I missed anything here. Sorry, that boss was pretty intense <laughs> trying to dodge everything. Uh, let's get this back there. Boss cool. There, love design. Oh, okay, I got most of chat then. Good. I wonder if you can eat fire. Well, there are fire eaters, but as to eating the fire itself... Nah, they always may blow it out. The problem with that is inside your belly, there's no oxygen, so it would just go out anyways. Oh. Oh, God, oh. Nothing new. Alright, let's look at these notches. Mmm, delicious. Let's throw that back on. Uh, oh yeah, my greed is gone now. I've got to go get that fixed. Uh, I forget if there's a guy that's really quick for that. Ah, oh, that's far away. That's far away. No matter what, it takes a while to get there. Boo, boo, boo! Still need to find Zo- I- oh. He's- I'm onto the portion where I have to find him a second time. I know where he is, I just need to go back there and rescue him, I think, now that I have the proper tools to get to him. Excuse me. As he's currently being eaten by a stag beetle thing, I think. Oop, oh, no, 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 no. Learned my lesson. Where am I going? Where am I going? I'm supposed to be going down. Right, but I can't go down here because it's been closed off. These stupid sacks. It's got that. So annoying. So annoying. So if I go, is it even faster going that way then? May as well go up and around then. But Zod is so. I'm so great. I just I don't know if I feel like saving him. I might just leave him. Teach him a lesson. Humility. Oh, I keep forgetting you can't zoom through bad guys. Oh. Explosions. There we go. Oh, I'm still sad that I forgot to take off my Charm of Greed before that fight. Well, not that I knew it was a fight. Alright, can I? I can. Is this... Really? It's blocked off as well. Another way I can take? 
I've been up here. Huh. Wait for a sec, did I win? Yes, I won on my third attempt. Ah, ah, ah. Hey, and thank you so much for that follow. What are these things? Or Solion? I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. This, oh, is this gonna be another dream battle? Dream battle! Aha! I see your. Oh, no. Oh! Hello! Gosh, I had a fuck. I forgot. Oh. Okay. <laughs> he is wasting me already. Holy crap! Oh my god! Woo! That was like hard mode right off the bat. <laughs> the second one was right, like a sunlight. Soul Leon. Okay. Hmm. Man, yeah, that that guy ha that guy has no chill. No chill. Oh, and that's why he... Is that supposed to come in from that side? So I'm not getting any soul from hitting this armor. Oh, I thought I was. I was like, haha, okay, now I can heal. No. Yeah, second one. Okay. Yeah, he does double damage, but the rocks don't. Kind of sucks. Just notice he runs now. Yes, yeah, I cut on him. He's like, I wasn't ready for you. Strong thread. What? Huh? Was expecting it'd be like the have one escape. Nope. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness. This ain't working right for me no more. Ooh, man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I don't mind dying. That's fine. What's well, a little... Whoop, what, oh! what gets a little disappointing is, uh... How long it takes to get back to the ring. I mean, honestly, it's not much, right? I was doing so well at first. That one last one. <laughs> nope. I I didn't do the fun fact, Bill Knight hates you because you hate his spaghetti. <gasps> Well, if you want to leave it frozen on a plate for me. <laughs> we'll see if uh, Buttons remembers that. Okay. Doing that makes me get there a lot quicker. So I don't mind that. Woo! 
a tough fight because I don't really find much of a, a time that I can heal in between things. The falling rocks is, yeah, I mean the last time, it was great. I had no problems with the falling rocks, it was great. And uh, this time, this time though, I was like, no sir, you're not allowed. I'm wondering if be broken, and if so, oh, gosh, no, jumped. Oops. If the oh, I can hit them. Oh, I can hit them away. I wonder if that can hurt him. Oh. So they can't be hit away, and they go flying. So now I want to experiment. Does it hit him? And if so. Does it stun him? Or do damage? That's the real question. Yup, it hurts him! However, uh... Trying to get those hits are... Or at least he flashed anyways. But trying to get those hits instead of dodging is is not quite working out for me. <laughs> so I think I'm going to stick to just dodging those attacks. If I can get a rock hit, and that'd be great. dodged into that rock. I dodged into that rock. And I dodged into him stomping off him. Well, he thinks, uh, you know, I would make uh, some lovely Vegemite, except it'd be Bugamite, I suppose, in this case. Squish me, spread it on his lovely toast, or whatever else that usually gets put on. Great. Great breakfast to begin your day with. That was a mistake on my head. Woo! I don't know why I'm dodging this way. Clearly my mind is just broken right now. <laughs> After fighting Grim Troop and beating him a lot easier on that third try. Apparently my brain has just decided that it wants to go sleep. And, uh, what charms am I using? You know what, to be honest, not very great charms. <laughs> because I wasn't originally planning on fighting dream guys right now. <laughs> Got the Grim Child, Mark of Pride, and a compass, and then that's it. <laughs> because I was originally just on the pat way to go fix my greed. That was all I was planning on doing, so that's why I could go and equip that, and, and yeah. Uh, because I want to start repairing my fragile orbs. So this way they aren't fragile anymore. Fortunately, I accidentally gave the heart for one first, which was 12,000 geos. So it was like... Alright, yeah, no, I think after this death I'm going to possibly just continue on my merry way. Get that fixed because yeah I, i'm not my charms aren't really that great <laughs> for one and i would like to have something better like the extra strength charm all right however on quick slash makes this fight a little easier 
I could see, oh, you know what, that's a good point. That is a good point. I've usually been sticking away from quick slash, just because, actually, you know what? Just from an assumption, to be honest. I, I like bouncing off of people while I hit them. And I always assumed that that with quick slash, you no longer bounce. Is that true? Like, when I'm going down, I, I like to do the little whack, whack, like this. Oops. For example. Alright, so that's closed off. That's down. So I have to go... Another way? So bright. To get over there. Food time. All right, you go eat your food and enjoy. Oh, jeez. It's actually getting close to the end of the stream time here, anyways. We've got about ten minutes left to go before I've got to head off. What? I am still happy with my progress tonight. I'm so happy. Finally found the Grim Dawn troop. Grim Dawn. <laughs> the Grim Troop and the double jump this round. Oh, and that was so huge for me. Hey, Alexander, thank you so much for that follow. Oh, gosh, darn it. <laughs> darn you little bugs. Pull up our health so we don't die. Go down, zoom around to the other side, and continue forward. Yep, I've been working on. Hmm. <laughs> been working hard on finishing in Hollow Knight. I still have so much to do. I've only awoken one dream. Well, I'm not, I'm not sure I've really awoken, but. I've released one seal so far. I still have two seals left to go. Uh, there's a couple places that I have not yet been. Yeah, I'll have to go. Oh! At first, I thought it was really cool having this place be all gooey and stuff, but now I'm annoyed with it. Because now it's closed off. Whoa, goodness! Closed off some of the ways I want to go. Now I've got to take long ways. So, mm. Oh, I let go too early. I lost all that soul. Oof. Feels bad. Okay, I didn't know where his body went. I need these geos. Oh, so bad. Just looking forward to the continuation. But good stuff. Yeah, no, I've... I've really enjoyed this so far. It's a great game, combat's great, musical score is amazing. I like getting blown up like that. <laughs> so we're going all the way to the end, whichever end that may be. I've heard that there are multiple endings. I, once again, this is a blind run. So we will see which one I get. I don't know the prerequisites to it. Well, I have to learn to start shooting at those guys. Okay, this. I made a mark for some reason. Why did I mark over here? Because there was something down over this way. Yes. Oh, looks like I probably already did it, and I forgot to take the mark off. Yes, I did do this. Okay. Yeah, I, I remember doing this, and that I didn't take the mark off the map. Oops. So let's do that now. Right here. No! <laughs> and now we are going to go get our lovely fur. Visit our best friend over down this way. Ow. Oh. I pressed E. The jump. 
forgot this is the acid place. And I took a lovely acid bath. What do we have right here? We will repair our fragile feed. <sighs> so nice. We will go to our charms. We'll put fragile feed back on. Talk about a quick slash, eh? It takes three. Curious. If I take off Grim Child, I can throw it on. Let's see what's like. Ooh, that is actually kind of nice. Woo! What's over this way? Oh, right. My damn acid. Is that doorway down there? Yeah, uh, don't mind me. I'm just, I, I enjoy myself a, a lovely, refreshing acid bath. Just wakes you up in the morning. I, I think everybody should try it at some point. It, it's great. I, I actually could probably get a hang of this quick slash. I haven't really tried it much before. Thank you very much for the, the recommendation. I know you were saying it just for that boss fight, but I, I am actually enjoying the multiple attacks with it. Right, there was a door here for some reason. A seal. Let's see. Alright, anyways. I'm gonna go back up. Is there a... Yeah, there's no... Step. <gasps> wait, wait, wait! I have this. <laughs> it's all like there's no stag station. There's nowhere to go. Wait, what? I could have sworn I put that down next to the in the upper in the town. <gasps> no, I didn't. I didn't because I got distracted by the group troop. That's why. So I wanted to put the, the dream portal down in town. Oh, I love this thing. I love that dream portal so, so much. So let's put it down. There we go. Save. And I'm, I believe that right there is where we're going to end it tonight. Well, we've got time so before we get into the too far into the middle of something. So thank you very much, everybody, for joining me tonight. Thank you for all the follows, the resubs, and everything. Really appreciate it, everyone. I hope you have yourselves a great night. I have... I'll be posting up a schedule for next week tomorrow. As always, if you uh, would like to keep in touch, I've join me on my Twitter as well as in my Discord. I post all my updates there. So this way it's nice and easy to find out when the next stream is. Usually try to keep it on Monday, Wednesday, Saturday. Sometimes it's a little bit earlier. Sometimes I'm able to throw in some extra ones. But otherwise, have yourselves a wonderful evening, and we'll catch you next time.